Hey guys, welcome back. In last lecture, we discussed four Fulkerson and Edmonds Karp algorithm to find out maximum possible flow through a network, right? In this lecture, we are going to talk about min cut problem. Max flow problem is what's the maximum amount of stuff we can get through the graph, right? Min cut problem is how do we cut graph efficiently with minimal amount of work so that the source and sink get separated or we can say there is no path left from source to sink okay so to understand min cut better let's first talk about what a cut is what exactly the cut mean in a flow network for example if this is the given graph and if we draw ST cut onto this network, the two parts in which the network get divided are called S and T parts. All the vertices in source side belongs to S part and all the vertices in sink side belongs to the T part. So we can say that to cut the network in these two parts, we need to break the lines or edges between S and T part. And the amount of work needed to break these lengths or these edges must be minimum, which is possible when the weights of these edges are minimal. As we consider that the amount of work is equal to the capacity of that edge. And that's what we call a min cut. Now I'm going to talk about the most famous example from where everything started. This is an example from 1950s. These are the real rail networks connecting Soviet Union with countries in Eastern Europe. So see, this is a graph, a directed graph where the vertices are representing cities and the edges, these directed edges are representing rail tracks. So during the Cold War, the US Air Force was very interested in knowing how and how much resources were getting shipped from Soviet Union to Europe so that they know they can know in advance that what is the minimum number of train tracks they should cut so that nothing goes to Europe. And they wanted to do it assuming the cost of cutting is proportional to the capacity. So this is a classic example of min cut problem. Now talking about the relation of min cut and max flow, min cut and max flow, both these problems are called dual because these two problems are almost the same. There is actually a theorem behind it and you know it is called max flow min cut theorem. Max flow min cut theorem states that in a flow network, the maximum amount of flow passing from source to sink is equal to the total weight of edges in a minimum cut. That is the smallest total weight of the edges which if removed would disconnect the source from sink. It's very easy to find out a minimum cut after establishing the max flow. So if this is the network, remember this is the one where we are getting the max flow four and we have selected these two paths S to A, A to B, B to T and the other path is S to C, C to D, D to T, right? And both these paths are getting a flow of two which makes a total of four, right? So to find a min cut in this network after establishing the max flow, the way is we just do a graph search. We start from source and if there's a forward edge that's not full, we follow the path. And if we have a backward edge that's not empty, we follow the path. Um, for now, I'm showing it in original network, but in residual network, we'll also be having backward edges. So we have to check for two things. If it's a forward edge, then it must not be completely filled. And if it's a backward edge, it must not be empty. So here, see, we, are, we cannot go from S to C as this edge SE is completely filled. So here, there's a cut and now the only way to go forward is from A. So here if we try to go forward towards B from A, again it's not possible because this edge is completely filled. So this is the cut, this is the minimum cut for this flow network. 
Now, if you calculate the work done to for this minimum cut, it will be the capacities of these edges, which will be 2 plus 2, which is equal to the maximum flow through this network. And that's what max flow min cut theorem is all about. A point to remember here is that the edges in min cut are always from S to T. These are AB and SC. We cannot take CA as it's not going from S part to T part, okay? So that's it. That's all about this lecture.